Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our uh, next installment in our series of programs on playing card games uh, solitaire. Uh, we have a question from from uh, from one of our members, a Michelle from Bat from Batavia, uh, that writes in and says, uh, "Hey, card guy." After an afternoon of uh, quilting with my friends, I'm looking for a, uh, a solitaire game to take my mind off everything. Any suggestions? Uh, well, Michelle, uh, you're, you're in luck. We have a great game that I think will take your mind off your troubles. Uh, it requires two decks. It requires a fair amount of space, but it is a lot of fun, and the game is called Crazy Quilt. So let's talk about this game, and uh, we'll teach you how to do it. First, let's begin with a reminder about uh, the decks. So you're going to need two decks for this game, but of course uh, each one is a standard pack of playing cards uh, with 52 cards, uh, two colors as you know, red and black, four suits within the pack, and of course 13 ranks within each suit. Now again, you'll need two packs of cards for this game, so grab a second pack, uh, maybe ask a friend and uh, go ahead and get those shuffled. Uh, we're using the riffle technique here. Uh, go ahead and do that seven times and then combine them to, uh, for a grand total of 104 cards uh, and we'll lay out uh, our game. So let's talk about the layout for the game called Crazy Quilt. Now first, you're going to want to go in and take out four kings of the four suits and four aces, again, of the four suits, and set them aside. Uh, you are going to uh, create a really interesting, very unique tableau for this game of 64 cards that takes on a kind of a woven quilt look, uh, something along uh, these lines here. Uh, on the left, you will have your four kings that will be your king foundations. And the role here is for you to build on those foundations down. So on the king goes the queen, then the jack, uh, all the way down to ace. That has to be in sequence and within the suit of that king. Let's return to the table. On the other side of the tableau, you will have your four aces. You'll have your ace foundations. And here you do something similar but the opposite. You will build up on your ace foundations. Again, you have to do it in sequence. On top of the ace goes the two, then the three. And again, it has to be within the suit of that foundation. And you have to do that for all eight foundations. Now here's the rub. Here's where it gets interesting with Crazy Quilt. You will move cards from that 64 card tableau and place them onto your foundations. But here's the restriction. You can only move cards that have a short side revealed. So look at the screen and you see that two of diamonds lower right, the two of hearts at the bottom. Because that card has a short side that is exposed, it is available for play. Looking next to that two of hearts, you see that ace of clubs? You cannot play that card because both short sides are blocked. It's almost like... Um, uh, like pulling a loose uh, bit of yarn on a cable knit sweater. Only those that are exposed uh, are available to be tugged uh, and played. So why don't we uh, give it a shot? Let's play the game, and I think it all will come into focus here as we do. So let's begin with a nice clean surface. I've already got my foundations uh, set down, and we're going to build our tableau, which is basically eight cards by eight rows. And go ahead and alternate, uh, whether they're vertical, then horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal, and so on. So you'll eventually uh, build a tableau like this, 64 cards. Boy, this game is so big, it, uh, it fills the entire screen. And then you'll have 32 cards left over as your stock. So right off the bat, look for twos and queens with short sides revealed. There we go. There's a two of hearts that's available. The short side was available, place it on the foundation. That opens up that three of hearts, which again can be built on that same. Again, remember on the ace side, you're building up in sequence. How about this queen of diamonds? That queen of diamonds can be placed on the king foundation. It's revealed the short side of the jack of diamonds. That too can be pulled and further built on your foundation. Here's a queen of clubs. That's available. Place it on the king, revealing the jack. Now his short side is revealed so he can place uh, on top of the foundation as well. Here's a two of spades. That's a card we can play. Place it on that ace of spades. And look, the three is now revealed as well. And we're still uh, looking for cards that two of hearts like to play, not available. Two of clubs is available. So we'll go ahead and place that there. So scan the board. Look for cards with short sides revealed that are available for play. What else can we move there? Do you see that 10 of clubs? I do. That 10 of clubs is available. So let's go ahead and grab that 10 and place it on the jack. 
and we'll continue to scan the board. Oh, there's a nine of clubs because that short side's available. We can pull it and we can place it on our foundation as such. Now let's look at our stock. Let's see if there's something in here that is of value to us. Uh, eight of hearts, not really. Two of clubs, no thanks. Jack of hearts, can't do it. Continue to look around the board. How about that six of hearts, jack of diamonds, two of diamonds, ace of hearts. How about a nine of spades? No, ace of spades. Uh, eight of clubs will work. That can place on top of the foundation and we can also move that seven on top. And let's continue to scan the board. What else is available? Uh, if you can't find anything, go to your stock and oop, that three of clubs will build nicely on our foundation. And we'll continue to look. There's a four of diamonds. There's a six of clubs. Uh, oh, do you see that five of clubs there? See that? Short side is revealed. And remember, we're building down on the king foundation, so that card can work. Let's go back to our stock and look for more cards to play. Seven of spades, how about, oh, queen of spades, you bet, works on top of the king. And then the jack can move as well, as well as the ten. That reveals cards. Remember, when you pull a card, it reveals others that are now put into play. Four of hearts and five of hearts go there. And how about that 10 of diamonds? You bet, let's place that on top of that foundation and continue to build. There's a nice nine of diamonds. Where's that eight of diamonds? Uh, is it there? Sometimes you may find it in the, in the field, in the tableau, but trapped. Returning to the pack, uh, let's see if our stock can give us something helpful. 10 of spades, no. Eight of diamonds, you bet, can go there. Where's my seven of diamonds? Where is it? Oh, they're both trapped, so we'll continue to work through our stock here. Now look what happens here. When that four of clubs is placed on that foundation, we have a move called a reversal. You can pick up that foundation only when it's one card difference and place the four, the three, the two, and the ace on the king foundation, thus retiring that entire foundation. Go ahead and flip it over. Um, the risk here with that reversal is that you now need to reestablish that ace of clubs and you can see mine is trapped, so I may not be able to get to it. That's a move you're gonna have to decide if you're willing to take. How about that Queen of Hearts is revealed? You bet, go ahead and play that. Looking at these cards, anything with a short side? No, time to redeal. Let's see if there's some cards in the stock that'll help us here. Two of clubs, the Jack of Hearts is helpful. How about that 10? Any 10's available? Not that one. Well, this one's available. We can place that there, and that nine is also available as well. Let's pull that eight of hearts into the mix as well. Seven of hearts, unfortunately, both, I can see them both. They're both trapped, so that's not gonna work. Uh, six can go on the Ace Foundation here. Let's continue to work through our stock and find some cards to uh, put into play. Jack of Diamonds, no. Two of Diamonds, uh, Ace of Hearts, how about a Nine of Spades? You bet, we're building down on this foundation. But now here's a choice for you. I originally played this Eight, and then I realized, you know, the other Eight of Spades, lower left, is also available. I think I'd be better off playing this Eight instead, because watch. That now reveals the short side of the four of spades. I can play the four and the five, and that's just a better move for us. Now, look, that six is available as well. Seven, you know, he's trapped, can't move him just yet. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to return to our stock and look for something to put into play. There's a five of hearts. That's not gonna help us. King of spades, three of clubs, uh, four of diamonds. Always scanning both your foundations, all those piles. Oh, that seven can work. Oh, here's another opportunity for a reversal. Let's do the opposite this time. Let's take the king foundation and we'll finish off that ace foundation of spades. Go ahead and retire that. Now again, you're gonna need a king of spades to reestablish that foundation on the left. Hopefully we can find one or reveal one. Now that six of diamonds doesn't help me. Ah, but do you see what I see? That seven of diamonds is available. Go ahead and pull that into the mix and then pull that six of diamonds to top it off. How about that five? You bet, five's available. Four, of course, is fully available. Let's place that four, and let's keep working here. 10 of spades, how about a 10 of diamonds? Is that five? No, that's not gonna help us. Six of clubs, well, looks like it's time for a redeal. Let's go through the stock again. Something of value, something we can place on a foundation. Um, no, that ace of spades isn't gonna help us. Uh, five of hearts, that's not gonna work for us either. Oh, here we go. Now we can reestablish our king of spade foundation. We need a queen of spades. Unfortunately, she's trapped. Uh, two queen of clubs isn't gonna help us. I think we may be running out of moves here. I'm gonna check all these cards. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to wrap it up. So, so there you have it. That is uh, the game called Crazy Quilt. And uh, it's actually very unique in the setup. Uh, it is kind of fun to uh, pull a card of value and then reveal another. 
Uh, it does pick up pace, and I think it's a lot of fun. Let's see if you can play it and retire more foundations than me. So, uh, Michelle from, ba from, from Batavia, thank you for writing in. I hope you enjoy the game as much as I enjoyed playing it. And uh, for everybody else out there, uh, be sure to... Oh, okay. Be sure to catch us again next time. Thank you.